Thanos, who is known as the Mad Titan, is one of the most feared characters in the Marvel multiverse. Few dare to challenge him, and fewer still live to tell the tale. When Thanos does enter the battlefield, his fights are the stuff of legend. Despite his strength, there are some beings that not even Thanos could stand against. One such fight was his battle against Odin, father of Thor and Loki, king of Asgard, the Allfather. Odin had sent Thor away from Asgard to help him find peace. Unfortunately, Thor treated such an act as if he was being banished. Thor became filled with self-pity and began to go insane. While he was dwelling in his self-pity, Thor began to hallucinate, imagining a being named Valkyrie appearing before him, convincing him that Odin was at fault for all the tribulations that he had gone through. Through the influence of Valkyrie, along with Thor's insanity, they made their way to Asgard with the intent of killing Odin and destroying Asgard to get their revenge. Before they could get very far into Asgard, they were engaged by Warlock, Doctor Strange, the Silver Surfer, and the Infinity Watch. Unfortunately, they were no match for Thor, with the help of Valkyrie. After the beatdown they had just given, a troll named Pip, who worked for Thanos, teleported him onto Thanos' ship in an effort to keep him away from Asgard. With the help of Thanos and the other heroes, they were able to entrap Thor in a solid block of force preventing him from any further destruction, and devised a plan to return Thor to Odin to see if he could help his enraged son. When Thanos and the others appeared on the Rainbow Bridge leading into Asgard, Odin detected their arrival, believing that Thor was being used as their hostage. Odin rallied the warriors of Asgard to defend the realm. Every able fighter was assembled to defend their home. Odin then ordered his troops to take down Thanos and his minions. In order to prevent Thor from being freed, Thanos and the others would have to fight to defend him. Thanos stayed behind to personally protect Thor, while Warlock and the others led the charge to fight off the Asgardian warriors in an attempt to get Odin. As the battle continued, Doctor Strange, Moondragon, and Gamora had all fallen, and Thanos began to realize that his chances of succeeding were quickly diminishing. Thanos got Maxim's attention, and gave him the responsibility to watch Thor as he stood in to fight, believing he would be more useful in combat. Thanos proceeded to decimate the Asgardian warriors, establishing himself as a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. Thanos and Warlock fought side by side, and then were joined by Drax and the Silver Surfer depleting more Asgardian warriors. Odin, having seen enough of his warriors fall to the forces of the enemy, and knowing that they were no match with him on the sidelines watching, finally appeared on the battlefield, ready to fight for his people. Drax challenged Odin first, thinking that he would be no different from the rest of the warriors that he had just defeated. He was very wrong, however, as Odin blew him away like an insignificant fly. Odin then had his troops pull back, putting their success all upon the king's shoulders. Meanwhile, Warlock did the same in pulling back their team, leaving Thanos and the Surfer to face off against Odin. Thanos and the Surfer began their attack, when Odin returned fire on the Surfer, blasting him away just as he had done to Drax. The stage was now set for the two alpha males to go head to head. Odin admired Thanos' abilities, stating that he had never faced such a worthy opponent. Although Odin gained respect for Thanos, he still believed that he would reign superior. Thanos, on the other hand, was still not impressed in the least by the strength of the Asgardian king. Odin channeled his powers, bringing down meteors upon Thanos. Thanos responded by putting Odin in a similar force block that Thor was imprisoned in. However, it couldn't contain the king of Asgard. Odin then began wielding his legendary spear, Gungnir, and blasted Thanos through multiple buildings into the city of Asgard. Odin didn't hold back and continued blasting at Thanos. To his surprise, Thanos withstood the power from Gungnir this time, and made his way to Odin, grabbing hold of the Allfather's weapon. This led to an immense explosion, bringing the two to a standstill. Before the two could resume their battle, Lady Sif and Beta Ray Bill, who had appeared during the fight after trying to stop Thor themselves earlier, came between the two, stopping them in their tracks. Lady Sif then began to inform the king that this fight was unnecessary, as Thanos had not come to wipe out Asgard, but merely to bring Thor before Odin to be cured. The realization of this misunderstanding quickly ended these powerhouses' battle, before any more damage could be done. Odin's attention was then quickly turned to his impaired son, as he began to search for a cure to Thor's madness. Thanks so much for watching this video. We would love to hear in the comments below who you think would have won had Odin and Thanos' battle not been interrupted. Feel free to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the video while you're at it as well.